my grandfather passed away at the hospice in March and it was a really uh, meaningful experience for us to have the hospice here in town and it was it would have just been a lot more difficult without the hospice and so we're very appreciative and supportive of the efforts of the Valley Hospice. But since the hospice opened five and a half years ago, over 800 people have lived their last days at the hospice. So, so it's a celebration of life here. That's why people are so happy. Talk a bit about your fundraising goal this year. Well, our goal was to match what we've done the last couple of years, $150,000, and it looks like what we've done this year. We know there's still some money that will come in during the week, as some people may not have been able to show up today. So, so we've uh, 150000 If we can keep doing this every year, we're quite happy. It's a huge amount for us. And what did it mean for the family to be able to have him there? Um, I think it just meant for our grandmother being able to be his wife instead of his caretaker and for our family really to be able to embrace the last uh, moments that we had with him and it being in a positive and caring environment instead of um, you know stressful and in, our, in the home and having to care for him. So it was a chance for all of us to kind of say goodbye in a peaceful way and have our like, final moments with him. And, a really peaceful and relaxing way. The fact that like our grandfather had so much in his life, he had such a full life that um, to be affected by cancer and uh, the, the hospice gave us a chance to really like reflect on his life and and be there as family as opposed to taking care of him. So I guess just for us today, it's just celebrating his life and everything that he did. 